Right then, guys, this is the unboxing of the Mag Core Liquid 360R from MSI. So, so this is a new cooler I've just bought. Let's get the unboxing. I'm going to do a full review on this item. So, because at the moment I've got a 280 rad, I want to tell, I want to show you what the difference is going from a 280 to a 360 rad. So, right, like this, and there's a tab right there. So we go like this, and we go like that, and we go like. Okay, so. There we go, right. So. Oh, right then. Okay, so first you get a quick installation guide, which is basically this. Right, so that's all it basically tells you is you've got a QR code here for Dragon Center. It just tells you how to mount it, where to mount it, uh, mounting brackets. I'm assuming that MSI will come out with the new 1700 LGA from Intel, but we don't know. They might probably end up coming out with a new one. Right, so here is all the accessories. So got thermal paste you've got noise reducer you've got your intel you've got your Ryzen bracket which is by there this is the pump itself so does that look the radiator okay let's have a look at these fans first these are ARGB fans so yeah Ooh. Oh, well, they're quite nice here. Whoops. Sorry, dropped something. Wow, they're quite nice. Oh, look at that. Look, they've got an RGB around the ring inside. So, comes with this, three of these, which are ARGB. But the problem is, this doesn't come with a controller. So, what it has got is kind of a splitter that is in here that puts them all together. So you've got your retentions for here, that is, I'm assuming that's AMD, yeah, AMD, so you've got this thing by here, just a, oh, Molex, really, who uses Molex today? The Intel brackets, you have got those, AMD, you've got the threaded thing for that, you've got this by here, which is a fan splitter. The fan split, I see. So there, fan split there. So it's not so bad. So you can split all three fans into one four pin, uh, four pin PWM fan. So it just goes directly to your motherboard. You've got this sound, which is the silent, it's the noise reducer. So just in case the fans are a bit too noisy, you can just reduce the noise. I have used these, I uh, used these years ago, the noise reducer, on an old, um, old fans I bought, I can't remember the name of the brand, but they were old, they were very old fans, I think it might have been thermal tape, I can't remember, this you're talking at least, at least a decade or so, so. I don't like the Molex, but, oh well, oh well I guess. So this is the cooler. Right. So so look. Okay, right. So the only difference with this from any other cooler is that the pump is not here. The pump is but there. See, pump is right there. This is the three pin three pin header for that. Then you have got an ARGB. Head over here, then you've got this little splitter, which I'm assuming, oh, that's, that's a 5 volt, so I'm assuming you plug the fans into this, and then you kind of, 
But there you go, two of those. That is the pump. Uh, wow, that is nice. I like that, the rotating thing. Oh, wait, 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 look, oh, wait, peel, peel. Ah, well, I messed that up. Ooh, that's nice. That's shiny. Put that back on for now. So, yeah, that's the unboxing of the MSI 360R AIO with a built in pump in the radiator. So, uh, look out for the review coming very soon. This is Richard from Welsh Tech. I hope you have a good day. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like. Also, don't forget to check out welshytech.co.uk, my personal website. Goodbye.